With an Illuvion, Corypheus could cross into the Fade in the flesh. Indeed, the Inquisitor can attest that these artifacts still work, if one knows how to use them. What happens when Corypheus enters the Fade? Why, he will gain his heart's desire and take the power of a god. Or, and this is more likely, the lunatic will unleash forces that tear the world apart. In Redcliffe, I saw the future Corypheus built. We can't let that happen. It was always so, was it not? The madman would bury us all. Pardon me, but does this mean everything's lost unless we get to the Alluvian before him? Corypheus has a head start, no matter how quickly our army moves. We should gather our allies before we march. Can we wait for them? We should send our spies ahead to the Arbor Wilds. Without support from the soldiers? You'd lose half of them. Then what should we do? You overcome it. All three of you together. Josephine, have our allies send scouts to meet us in the wilds. Leliana, your fastest agents will join them. Together, we'll have enough spies to slow down Corypheus's army until Cullen's soldiers arrive. <laughs> Such confidence. But the Arbor Wilds are not so kind to visitors. Old elven magic lingers in those woods. We'd be remiss to not take advantage of your knowledge, Lady Morgan. Please, lend us your expertise. Here's why I came here. Although it is good to see its value recognized. Any further instructions, Inquisitor? The Inquisition began as a handful of soldiers. Thanks to you, we're now a force that will topple a self-proclaimed god. I could ask for no finer counsel, no better guidance. I speak for all of us when I answer. We could ask for no finer cause. We'll hound Corypheus in the wilds before he can find the temple or this Illuvion. Inquisitor. How goes the battle, Captain? The Red Templars fall beneath our blades, Your Worship. Commander Cullen says they're nearly finished. Our scouts saw Corypheus traveling towards an elven ruin to the north. We can clear you a path through his armies. Do only what you must. We need enough people for a celebration when we get back to Skyhold. We will not fail you, my lady, no matter what comes. Andraste guide you, Inquisitor. I wonder, is it Andraste your soldiers invoke during battle, or does a more immediate name come to their lips?
They show me respect, Morrigan. No one mistakes me for the Maker. True. You are far more likely to come to their aid than a Chantry fable. But I digress. If your scouts report accurately, I believe these ruins to be the Temple of Mathal. Which is? A place of worship out of elven legend. If Corypheus seeks it, then the Illuvian he covets lies within. Let us hope we reach this temple before the entire forest is reduced to ash. You've put together an impressive army, Inquisitor. You're dressed for battle. The Herald of Andraste does spray. I could hardly stay at home. Should you risk yourself in battle, Marquise Brianna? Safer here with the Red Templars and home with Orlesian nobles eyeing my back. It would be refreshing to see the blade coming. Sound the charge, Inquisitor. And we'll show Corypheus what comes of interfering in the affairs of Orle. Lord Lamarche, we thank Orle for its swift and steady friendship. It's to our elven nobility your thanks should be directed. Marquis Briala insisted His Majesty help the Inquisition. As you know, he values her advice immensely. Without it, Orlai would face Corypheus on its own soil. This battleground is preferable, no? <sighs> Doubtless. Inquisitor, I hear this Illuvian lies in a temple nearby. That's where the fighting will be worse. Andrasi, keep you safe. Are you sure you don't want to grab a sword and wade in? I shall remain where I'm of some use, your worship. It's all the same. Good luck. That's why. Listen to how close the fighting's gotten. It will be worse ahead. If the soldiers aren't careful with their fires, they'll do Corypheus's work for him. Do you sense the magic crackling? Something more powerful than the Red Templars stirs. As the sun renews itself, so must the faithful renew their love of the Maker. Your penance shall be a joy, serving him with a heart of love unbound. Your struggle shall be a gift, for it redeems you in his sight. Maker, let me be a worthy servant, that you might take me unto your side. My thanks, Your Worship. Andraste must hear you. I was a pilgrim at Haven. I saw the wreckage and how you emerged to lead us. If the Maker bids me serve you, it will be done. <laughs> They must be the last of those enslaved at Adam. If they are forced to obey him, death will be a blessing. Who were those elves? They didn't look Dalish. It seems this temple of Mithal is not deserted after all. Perhaps these creatures are the reason few return from the Arbor Wilds. Hunting, Inquisitor. We are keeping them at bay. Follow the river to the temple. There. That must be the Temple of Mithal. Be ready. Corypheus will be there. I hear fighting ahead. Banale. 
They still think to fight us, Master. These are but remnants. They will not keep us from the Well of Sorrows. Well of Sorrows? Be honored. Witness death at the hands of a new god. At last, Mathal's sanctum. Let us proceed before Corypheus interferes. You said Corypheus wanted an Illuvian, but he mentioned a Well of Sorrows, which is right. I am uncertain of what he referred to. Could they be the same? Could Illuvian translate into Well of Sorrows? No. It seems an Illuvian is not the prize Corypheus seeks. Yes, I was wrong. Does that please you? Whatever the Well of Sorrows might be, Corypheus seeks it, and thus you must keep it from his grasp. Let's find this well before Corypheus' people do. I want to know how Corypheus returned to life. We saw him die and his life force passes on to any blighted creature, Darkspawn or Grey Warden. And Corypheus cannot die. Destroy his body and he will assume another. We'll find a way to stop him once we're done here. Tis strange. Archdemons possess the same ability and still the Grey Wardens are able to slay them. Yet Corypheus, they locked away. Perhaps they knew he could do this. But not how. Yes? Are you certain Corypheus is using the power of the Blight to make himself immortal? Perhaps you forget. I was in Ferelden during the Fifth Blight. I have seen a true Archdemon rage. How Corypheus gained the power to send his soul into blighted bodies. That is the real question. Will answering that question let us destroy Corypheus for good? Perhaps. I would suggest first dealing with the well. If Corypheus obtains it, any chance of success could be lost. Do you know what this part of the temple was used for? The room we stand in is a vestibule, not the temple proper. To those who knew it, perhaps this ritual was little more than a polite knock at the gate. These customs must have been as familiar to ancient elves as bowing to a queen is to you or I. I find it difficult to picture you curtsying to anyone. Have we become so familiar you can predict my manners and customs now? Nothing is lost by indulging in the occasional civilized conduct, particularly when unexpected. 
You said this Mithal was worshipped as a goddess. So one assumes. What is a god but a being of immense power? The dread old gods were nothing more than dragons, after all. They rise as archdemons, and they die. Perhaps Mithal was a powerful elf, a ruler among her kind. History often plays storyteller with facts. You admit lack of knowledge, and yet dismiss her so readily? I do not dismiss her. I question her supposed divinity. One need not be a god to have value. Truthfully, I'm uncertain Mithal was even a single entity. The accounts are varied. There are varied accounts of Mithal. In most stories, Mithal rights wrongs while exercising motherly kindness. Let fly your voice to Mithal, deliverer of justice, protector of sun and earth alike. Other paint her as dark, vengeful. Pray to Mithal and she would smite your enemies, leaving them in agony. More Dalish tales, I assume. If you know more about this, Solus, speak. The oldest accounts say Mithal was both of these, and neither. She was the mother, protective and fierce. That is all I will say. This is not a place to stir up old stories. Whatever the truth, all accounts of Mithal end the same. Exiled to the beyond with her brethren. What do you mean, exiled? Tricked by the Dread Wolf, as all the Elven Gods were said to be, trapped in a land beyond the Fade. Many Dalish believe this is why the Elves fell from grace, and their gods did not save them. Or perhaps they were simply rulers slain by Tevinter. Who can say? You've seen the Elves here. They seem... odd. Indeed. Two things are possible. One, this is a group of Dalish separated from their brethren, cultists, fanatic in their desire to keep humans away. Two, these are elves descended from the ancients having resided here since before the fall of Arlathan. The second appears unlikely, but if true, the implications are astounding. Is that even possible? How? With magic, anything is possible. Whatever the truth, the Guardians successfully kept the temple a secret. They must kill all who enter, even the Dalish. A more sensible question might be, why? Let's continue. As you wish. It appears the temple's magics are still strong. Ancient Elven. I can't make out much. Atishol via Abalasan. It means enter the path of the Well of Sorrows. There is something about knowledge, respectful or pure. Shivan. Shivanen. Tis all I can translate. That it mentions the well is a good omen. At least we know the Well of Sorrows was important. Supplicants to Mathal would have first paid obeisance here. Following their path may aid entry. Perform a ritual to appease Elven God? Long dead or no, I don't like it. If need be, unless you wish to turn back. Temple of Mithal, constructed in an age when elves, not men, dominated this land. They believed Mithal a goddess of justice. Elves came here to request judgment after they proved their worth. Silence has reigned here for time beyond memory.
Why would this be here? Something wrong. It depicts the dread wolf, Fen Harel. In elven tales, he tricks their gods into sealing themselves away in the beyond for all time. Setting Fen Harel in Mathal's greater sanctum is as blasphemous as painting Andraste naked in the Chantry. My clan set statues of the Dread Wolf outside our camp. They're meant to frighten harmful spirits. Perhaps. I thought the ancient elves above quaint superstitions. For all your knowledge, Lady Morrigan, you cannot resist giving legend the weight of history. The wise do not mistake one for the other. Pray tell, what meaning does our elven expert sense lurking behind this? None we can discern by staring at it. You two look like you're about to kiss when you argue. It is time we pressed forward. Agreed. Come on, we might catch them. Hold a moment. While they rush ahead, this leads to our true destination. We should walk the petitioner's path as before. People are dying outside while we stand here. If we use the tunnel, more of our soldiers can flee. In this case, I must agree with the witch. This is ancient ground, deserving of our respect. You see the urgency? We cannot find the Well of Sorrows unprepared. You're very eager to reach our destination. Are we not all eager to stop Corypheus from achieving his mad plan? It sounds like what you want is that well. There is a danger to the natural order. Legends walked Thedas once, things of might and wonder. Their passing has left us all the lesser. Corypheus would squander the ancient power of the well. I would have it restored. I wasn't expecting your answer to be so romantic. Trust me, your surprise is matched only by my own. Mankind blunders through the world. Crushing what it does not understand. Elves, dragons, magic. The list is endless. We must stem the tide, or be left with nothing more than the mundane. This I know to be true. I read more in the first chamber than I revealed. It said a great boon is given to those who use the Well of Sorrows, but at a terrible price. What exactly did that altar say about the Well of Sorrows? Like most elven writing, it was insufferably vague. The term I deciphered was Halam Shivanas, the sweet sacrifice of duty. It implies the loss of something personal for duty's sake, yet for those who served at this temple, a worthwhile trade. What sort of curse should we brace ourselves for if we use the well? It would be easier by far to advise you of a curse. This price is not so well defined. My priority is your cause, but if the opportunity arises to save this well, I am willing to pay the cost. And gain what? That is what we must discover. The rituals may point the way. 